Hey everyone, today I want to show you what I did to repair this fin for my kiteboard. This technique can be used for a surfboard, a wakeboard, a stand-up paddleboard, and a kiteboard, of course. So this is my fin that I've repaired. Let me show you the part of the fin by putting a light on here that is actually repaired. The part that you can't see is the original part of the fin. The part that you can see through is the repaired part. Um, Basically, this fin is very specialized for this particular board, so I really wanted to repair it. Um, let me show you in comparison to one of the original fins that hasn't been repaired or broken. That's what it looks like, so you can see the profiles are almost identical. I inserted a screw in here. I first drilled it out, put the screw in, cut the head off. The reason why I had to cut the head off is because the fin is very narrow. Um, so I wanted that in there. The reason why I inserted a screw there is because it gave the fiberglass more, more, more to grip to. I also roughed up the fin with very aggressive sandpaper. And from there, I took a mold of my fin that was in good shape, and I'll show you exactly how I did that. All right, so I had plaster of Paris laying around my house, which was perfect to make my mold from. I think you could also do this from a really good clay that could dry out. That might take a little longer. Basically what you do is you mix this up per the instructions. I got a little box the shape of about this size because of my fin size. So I wanted it to be a little larger so I had some meat to my mold. Then what I did is I got my good fin right here, poured the mixture of plaster powder from the box, Got my good fin, almost submerged it to about that depth right there and let that dry overnight. So that's what it looked like. The following morning, I got a saw and I cut along here to remove or separate the two sides of my cast. Okay, now this cast has already been used, so it's a little uh, messed up now. But when it first came out, it was super smooth here. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, and obviously that's an impression of my fin. So then what I did is I got some epoxy from Home Depot. This is, I think, five minute epoxy. So you have to work really fast with this stuff. So before I did that, I actually had some um, fiberglass cloth that looks like this. This is also available at Home Depot and cut out a square larger than my cast piece. Let me show you how you would do something like that. It's not important to be perfectly measured here. It's just important that whatever you're casting, which is this piece right here, the cloth is larger than that. There's gonna be a lot of overhang on material here, but you, when you sand it, you can fix that problem. So I mixed my five minutes of epoxy, had a, a few of these pieces and there were some really tiny pieces, like one by one inch squares ready to go. Mixed my epoxy, got it really well mixed, spread the layer of epoxy on the bottom here of my mold, the part that happened to come off that had a really good shape of the fin. Once I spread that out and I used a uh, paintbrush, a disposable paintbrush, to get a really good coverage, go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. You don't have to be, to be uh, you don't have to cover this area outside of the part that you're trying to make. Then I laid this in there like that. Now I suggest wearing gloves because I got it all over my hands and spread it out on the glue here. So I had a layer of glue, then my cloth, then I put some more glue, then I put my fin piece in that was broken. So imagine this was broken right here, okay? So the part that was missing was this front up here. So I started putting glue and small pieces of cloth in there and built it up until I completed the shape to look like this. Then when that was complete, I put my last big layer of cloth on top, put the layer of glue down. Then I press this together like this very carefully and let it wait. The next day I came outside and it was a big mess. I pried it open and my fin had, my fin that you see here kind of looked 
like a big mess like this. So I just slowly started sanding. I have a bandsaw and I cut some of the excess off. You can even use a scissor, but you really want it. The important thing is you really want to give that 24 hours to harden up. When I started, I could feel that it was still a little soft yet. This now is not soft at all. Okay. <clears throat> now when you look in there, you can't see the fiberglass cloth. It's because it kind of becomes uh, clear as it gets wet. So the next thing I did is I kept on sanding and looking at my original fin and making sure that my sizes were identical. Now you're going to find that it takes some time, but with lots of effort, you'll start to see your fin taking shape. You can see now that I've smooth sanded it, you can see the, more of the original fin through the fiberglass area, even though this got a fresh patch of fiberglass on it. To paint my fin, I found a scrap piece of cardboard that I put a hole through. I'm screwing one of the fin screws in, and that should mount the fin in a way that will make it easy to apply paint. So the best way to deal with the blues of the off season is do some of that maintenance that you put off during the summer. Here's my fin. It's complete and installed. It looks awesome. I can't wait to ride the board. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give me a like. Also subscribe to my channel, check out all my awesome content, and I'll see you around real soon.